everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review. Going to be talking about lip care. Okay, guys, you know the drill here. I love lip care. I love lip balms, lip scrubs, lipstick, <laughs> lip tint. Oh, my, lip gloss, ch uh, chapstick style, uh, lip balms. Oh, my, all that good stuff. I love now, during the summer months when the sun is at its brightest, like right now, um, I guess depending on where you're located, but where I'm at, the sun is killer bright. Happy 4th of July. So, it is the day before the 4th of July, so happy 4th. Um, anyhow, so if you're going to be having fun in the sun, you're going to be celebrating for the 4th of July, you definitely need to protect your lips. I love sunscreen within my lip balm. Love it. This is a beautiful product. This is great stuff. I have used this forever, and I don't think I've ever actually mentioned this out here on my channel. Now, I know I've mentioned the brand because I love Badger. I think they're a fantastic brand. I love their products. You guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, I do a lot of product reviews on Badger products. I, I love, oh my goodness, I love their lip balm. Their, their skin care, um, their hair oil, their skin oil, their uh, Damascus rose oil for the face, their cleansing oil. I, I use so many products. I, I love their products. I really do. <clears throat> I love the Badger Balms. I love the balms that come in the, in the tin, all that good stuff. So anyhow, this is the brand Badger. This is the unscented broad spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen lip balm and it says a family friendly certified natural. There's the leaping bunny. It's cruelty free. It's not tested on animals. Protects against UVA and UVB rays from the sun. A, a non nano so there's no nanoparticles uh, within the sunblock and it says it's biodegradable. Let's see, it says right here, 100% certified natural, 94% organic ingredients. Let's see what else I can show you guys. I'll show you the actual ingredients back here somewhere. There's the active ingredients, non-nano, so there's no nanoparticles um, that can shatter off and absorb into your skin, into your bloodstream not good so that's that's really good to know I know that was a really big issue a few years ago it seemed with sunblock and sunscreens uh, a lot of companies and brands and products had nanoparticles and um, if you read about sunblocks and zinc oxide and you read about nanoparticles um, you'll know what I'm talking about but anyhow that was kind of a controversial thing so anytime you see products that say uh, no, uh, no nanoparticles or non nanoparticles that is a good thing that's good for your bloodstream that's good for your skin it's good for your endocrine gland system okay so okay so let's see what else oh ingredients there you go focus Okay, we have olive oil, we have beeswax, we have shea butter. What else do we have? We have sunflower, uh, sunflower or vitamin E oil, certified organic. Okay, guys, I love this stuff. I really do. So if you're going to be swimming or having fun in the sun like I'm going to be doing, um, we're not going to actually be barbecuing or anything like that. Um, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't eat that much meat personally. I'm not a big meat eater. I'm one of these people that will uh, go vegetarian or go vegan and I will stay vegan for a year or so and then I will eat a little bit of meat and then I will go back vegan. But anyhow, I'm not a um, big consumer of meat, so I'm not going to be actually barbecuing. I don't know what I'm eating yet, but anyhow, it's always fun in the sun and it's summertime and it's swimming and it's hot sun and we have, uh, you know, triple digit heat here. So yeah. Let me go ahead and show you what these look like. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. Um, sure, you're going to get a, a lot of white residue out of these. Anytime you get a uh, sunblock that's a lip balm, a chapstick style SPF, you're going to get that white cast on your lips honestly it doesn't bother me that much um, sometimes I feel maybe if I go out in public and you know I'm gonna be around people or too many people or whatever the issue might be oh my gosh there's a fly in here you guys 
it's running me crazy. So anyhow, a <laughs> little distracted, but you're going to get that white cast. Now, if that white cast does bother you, honestly, you could just put a little a lip tint over the top of it because I do, or you could just put lipstick over the top of it um, or lip gloss or whatever your preference is. If you like, I honestly don't care for a lip gloss as much as I do traditional lipstick. So <clears throat> Anyhow, I will put a light colored lipstick over the top of it, usually one of my nude colored lipsticks. And um, yeah, that works well. So if you want to conceal some of that white white cast and you know, you don't want to have um, ghost white lips, you know what I mean? I'll go ahead and take a swatch of it on my hand, let you guys see what it looks like real quick here. Okay. That way you could just see the um, effect of it. Okay. Okay. Okay, and it basically it looks the same on your lips as it does on my hand. You just have a little bit of a white cast, but yeah, like I said, lip gloss over the top of it, lipstick, anything like that, that's great. Um, and you still have the sun protection factor of 15. You will obviously need to reapply, especially if you're like me and you swim, you know, a lot underwater. If you're, um, head, mouth, and face is underwater like mine is a lot. I do a lot of diving and fun and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, but anyhow, so you have to reapply it, you know, about every hour. It, it really wears for about one hour before it starts to come off the lips. It, that is if you're completely drenched and sucking wet like I get. Uh, yeah, but anyhow, apply it every hour. That way you can keep up the sun protection, you know, and all that. And it is waterproof too, I'm not sure if it really says it's waterproof, but it honestly is. Does it say? I actually don't think it mentions it being waterproof, but really it is because, you know, like I said, I am diving around, I'm playing underwater, I'm having fun, I'm doing my thing, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it does last in the water, but I do have to apply it every hour on the hour you know it depends on how many hours i stay in the pool or the water but it's this great stuff and i really like that you can still get the full-blown effect of the product even if you have to put something over the top of it to give you a more of a lipstick appearance yeah this is some really great stuff no animal testing it's cruelty free it's been working beautiful i've been using this product forever and um, yeah, as you can see, I have two of them right now. So I rebuy this very often. I like to buy these from Vitacast.com. If I don't buy from there, I will buy from Swanson's Vitamins.com. And uh, I think I've also bought these before from Drugstore.com. Anyhow, great stuff. You guys know I love the Badger brand. I buy all the Badger products with my own money. Um, yeah, you know, not sponsored, not given um, to me uh, free for review or any of that stuff. So. Yeah, so and not affiliated or linked up with a company or any of that stuff either. I'm just obviously a consumer. I love beauty products. I have totally been a beauty expert for years on products. Uh, so anyhow, good stuff, great stuff, love it. Check this product out. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Take care now. Bye, beauties.